At Nike, we want to create the future of sport. Um, and we want to serve athletes all around the world. Nike is the best sports brand in the world and we want to remain competitive. And analytics plays a key role in order for us to stay competitive. When you're going into the unknown, basically areas that you've never ever seen before, you gotta first understand some of the products that you have created in the past. And so in order to understand products like that, you wanna understand how those products have been affected by X or Y materials. Introducing those materials into the future or evolving those materials into what could be the next big thing out there. There needs to be a whole new level of creativity. If business is stuck within one process and that process has worked, but it's something that it might not work in the future, right? And so analytics push you to get to that creative space where you're like, oh, maybe process A can be switched to process B because it would improve A, B, whatever. And then the second portion of this is with new materials, new processes, new technologies, you definitely need to be tactical and need to be fast. I work in part of the exploration area. A lot of that work is through DOE. Again, we're throwing things into, let's say, our mixture, our, our cake, right? And so we, in order to get the perfect flavor, there's a lot of things that we don't know how they're gonna react, but if we're st strategic by using DOEs, we're able to get results much faster and we're able to communicate to other folks in a significant way that will make an impact. But Nike or MI, there's definitely scientists, we have engineers, but outside of Nike or MI, we also work with a cohort of creatives. When they look at a graph, they're like, okay, fantastic, I don't know what I'm getting out of this. One of our maxims is win as a team, and honestly, if the team is not connected, there's no culture. It's really hard to move forward, and it's really hard to get things done. We want to make sure that everybody adopts a culture of statistics. It is incredibly powerful to have a tool that enables you to drive a message. And at Nike RMI, everything is done in Jump and is the, the only statistical software we use at this manufacturing facility. All quality engineers are trained with Jump. And Jump has helped deliver messages to those folks that might not have been exposed to stats or folks that honestly are just nowhere near within that world. Functions like Graph Builder, fantastic, so simple, so easy, yet so powerful. Usually how we approach um, people adopting Jump is right from the beginning, right from day one, it's like, this is what you got, and that's what we're gonna be working mm -hmm. with. I think a lot of folks uh, that have never used Jump before, they have used Excel or some sort of other statistical software that when they think stats, when they think about doing a graph, they're just like, I don't wanna do this. But as we go through graph field, they're just like, wait, it's a drag and drop and that's about it. It's a sandbox, basically, where you explore your creativity. And that's typically how folks get excited and then weaving online resources into training material is actually fantastic and in one quick way to quickly look at Jump and start learning that software and create more learning from it. It also takes folks learning certain areas and being able to teach others. I know some training programs have experts or you have somebody that is your go-to Jump person. But at Nike or MI we try to make sure we give those skills to as many people as possible so then when and if needed we are there. We won't be creating a bottleneck in training and we will also stay agile. When we talk about collaborating, it's also having folks using scripts. Because you can collaborate all you want, but if other folks are not really speaking your language, it's gonna get much, much, much more difficult. So introducing scripting into your training program will feed into that collaboration space. I think my perspective have gone from stats is scary to stats is cake. And honestly, if some businesses are so hesitant into adopting this analytics culture, I don't think I need to remind anyone here that we live in an ever-evolving, fast-paced world. It's incredibly competitive. And the least thing you want to do is waste time. And by not adopting analytics or weaving it into the fabric of your business, it seems like eventually you'll be wasting a lot of time. I think part of that is getting folks into a different headspace where they'll see the business move forward, propel into the future. And analytics plays a crucial role.